Credit cards are incredibly useful financial tools that can help one gain access to financing in the future. But it also has its drawbacks if not utilized properly. In today's video, we're going to discuss all about credit cards to help you make informed decisions. Here are the areas we'll cover in this topic. Number one, what is a credit card? Number two, types of credit cards. Number three, how do credit cards work? Number four, important terms to know. Number five, pros and cons of credit cards. And number six, how to build your credit. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon in order to be notified when I make further videos. Let's quickly dive in. What is a credit card? A credit card is a small plastic card that lets you borrow money from a financial institution, which can be used to make purchases, pay bills, and withdraw cash for certain cards. This borrowed money is known as credit, and the institution issuing the card is usually referred to as the lender. Credit cards can be used to pay for goods and services at merchants and online stores, as well as to purchase cash advances. Usually, there is a set limit and the cardholder has the ability to repay the principal amount plus any interest or pay minimum payment and other charges with a balance forwarding option into the next billing cycle as stated in their credit card terms. Number two, types of credit cards. There are three main types of credit cards, standard, premium, and secure. One, standard credit cards. The most popular type of card is a standard credit card. These cards have a fixed APR for purchases, balance transfers and cash advances, an annual fee and no rewards or incentives. Two, premium credit cards. Premium credit cards usually come with higher fees, but also offer more rewards such as cashbacks or cards that can be redeemed for travel. They also have higher credit limits and may offer other perks like airport lodge access or travel insurance. An example of a credit card with such rewards is the American Express card. Link in bio if you intend to check it out. Three, secured credit cards. Secured credit cards are a great option for those with limited or no credit history. These cards require a cash deposit as collateral and limit spending to the amount of the deposit. This type of card is usually best for those who are just starting to build their credit. Number three, how do credit cards work? When a card holder purchases something with a credit card, the lender pays the merchant and the card holder is responsible for repaying the lender. The card holder can either pay off their balance in full at the end of the billing cycle or carry a balance from month to month. When a card holder carries a balance, they would have to pay interest on the amount that was borrowed. It is important to know that credit cards are revolving lines of credit, meaning that available funds will increase as you keep making payments and decrease when you make new purchases. This is why it's important to make payments on time and in full to avoid accruing interest. Number four, important terms to know about credit cards. Before using a credit card, it's important to understand certain terms and conditions so that you can make an informed decision about borrowing. Here is a list of some important terms to know. Annual percentage rate, APR. The APR is the annual interest rate that the cardholder must pay on their purchases and balance transfers. Balance transfer fee. This is a fee charged when a cardholder transfers the balance from one credit card to another. Cash advance fee. A cash advance fee is a fee that a cardholder must pay when they use their card to get cash from a source other than an ATM. Credit limit. The credit limit is the maximum amount of money that can be borrowed with a credit card. Minimum payment. 
The minimum payment is the amount of money that must be paid on the card each month to stay in good standing with the card issuer. Grace period. The grace period is the amount of time from when a purchase is made to when a cardholder must make a minimum payment. Number five, how to build your credit. Building your credit is an important part of managing your finances. To build a good credit score, it's important to make payments on time and in full each month, avoiding going over your credit limit and keeping your balance low. When you use your credit card responsibly, you will build a credit score over time. This can help you qualify for loans and other types of financing with lower interest rates and better terms. But if you don't manage your credit card responsibly, you can end up with a bad credit score, which can make it harder for you to get the financing you need. Number six, pros and cons of credit cards. Credit cards can be a great tool for managing your finances if they are used responsibly. However, it's important to consider the pros and cons before committing to a card. Pros. Convenience. Credit cards are convenient and easy to use. You don't have to carry cash around and you can make purchases wherever credit cards are accepted and pay back the amount later. Build credit. With responsible use, you can build a good credit score, which is important for getting future loans and financing. Security. Credit cards offer more protection from fraud and theft than cash or debit cards. Money saving future. Many credit cards offer rewards and cashback programs that can help you save money. Cons. High interest rates. Credit cards often have high interest rates, which can make it difficult to pay off the balance. Fees. Credit cards come with a variety of fees, such as late payment fees, balance transfer fees, and cash advance fees. Temptation to overspend. With a credit card in hand, it can be easy to overspend and add up with a large balance. Negative impact on credit score. Late payments and carrying a high balance can have a negative impact on your credit score. Conclusion. A credit card can be a great tool for managing your finances. A lot of people use credit cards to make purchases and build their credit score. If used wisely, a credit card can be a great way to save money and gain access to financing in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.